New food in Disney's Animal Kingdom only means one thing. We have to come out here and try it all. It's no question that Disney's Animal Kingdom has the best eats out of any park here at Disney World. So when I saw they were announcing new food to drop today, I knew I had to come check it out. And almost every quick service restaurant at the park has something new on the menu. So I hope you're hungry. I know I definitely am. As soon as I walked in the park, the first thing I smelled was barbecue. So our first stop has to be Flame Tree Barbecue. Flame Tree Barbecue is one of my favorite quick service restaurants at Disney World. And today we are in for a real treat. They have two new menu additions that I absolutely cannot wait to try. We are gonna start off with the one that I absolutely cannot resist, the french fries with pulled pork and cheese. These are french fries topped with pulled pork and cheddar sauce for $8.49. Mm -hmm. Amazing, just like I remember. I think Flame Tree Barbecue's pulled pork is fantastic. Usually I don't go for pulled pork at Disney because it's like the same batch created stuff. Flame Tree Barbecue's pulled pork is different than everywhere else. It's always so juicy and tender, delicious. I love the cheese sauce on there mixed with a little bit of sweetness from that barbecue sauce on, on Disney's amazing fries. I mean, this is, this is a meal I could get behind. Also, I definitely want to point out that with the dining plan coming back very soon, this is actually considered a snack option on the dining plan. I gotta say, it's probably the best snack option you can find on the dining plan because you can make this an entire meal. You've got a side, you've got a meat, and you've got a sauce on there. This, this is a meal and uh, yeah, a, a must try meal at that. I've gotta stop myself from eating this whole tray of fries. It's very difficult because I really, really love them and it's gonna make my decision when I come to Flame Tree Barbecue very difficult. They also have a loaded mac and cheese here that I love. So now I'm gonna have to decide between, between that mac and cheese with the pulled pork and the onion rings and this which both are amazing options. But yeah, we got we got to slow down on the fries because we have a, another brand new food offering that we still haven't gotten to. These are the Impossible Burnt Ends. They're served with french fries and a vinegar-based crunchy slaw for $12.29. Plant-based burnt ends. Never heard of anything like it. I do enjoy burnt ends. I'd say like between like smoked sausage and burnt ends. Those are my two favorite like barbecue meats to get if I go to a barbecue restaurant. Really enjoy burnt ends. I've never heard of impossible burnt ends. This is the dish out of everything that I have been like anticipating the most because I just I just don't know what to expect. They look like they're crispy on the outside. They look a little dry, but we'll taste it out and see how it is. Let's try this out. I don't know what to think, but I don't hate them. I love that they're like sweet and kind of like sticky and crispy on the outside, but really tender on the inside. I gotta break one of these open and kind of get a peek at what we're working with. Okay, this really looks like a brisket. The only thing I will say is that they're definitely a little bit dry. So they did give you a little barbecue sauce on the side. So I'm gonna use that to my advantage, go for a dunk in the barbecue and, and retry this burnt egg. I'm just so confused. I like it. Served with a vinegar slaw as well, so we'll try a little bite of that. Where else can you get this slaw? You could get this slaw somewhere else. Oh, this tastes exactly like the slaw that they have on a Ronto wrap. I feel like it might be good, a little a little vinegar mix with one of these um, impossible burnt ends. Yeah, that's really good together. This is a vinegar based slaw, so it's really good when you mix it with that burnt end, get a bite with both in there. It is served with fries, so I wish there was a different side option to choose from. They didn't give me the option here, but I wish you could choose like onion rings or something different. But this is a solid option. Honestly, I'd get it again, and I'm obviously not eating plant-based or anything. I do really enjoy plant-based foods, but I am really enjoying these. I'd get them again, and if you are vegan, 
you should definitely try these out. This will be a treat for you. All right, we are finished up over at Flame Tree Barbecue. Both new offerings are phenomenal. I would 100% get those impossible burnt ends and the loaded fries again. Two new great additions to the food scene here at Animal Kingdom. And uh, we still got a bunch more to go. Next up, we're heading over to Harambe Market to try some of their new food. The Harambe Market serves up African-inspired dishes like rice bowls, sausages, ribs, a ton of great stuff. I have never eaten here. Never once have I eaten here. I've tried a couple times. They have such weird hours. They close around like 3 or 3.30 every day. Today, I made it a point to come here early so I could try out the new food here. Here at the Harambe Market, they added some new bowls, some new salads, and some new pitas. They now have a new beef and lamb kofta pita. They also have a new impossible kofta pita if you were eating plant-based. And then they added, I think they just added like a new meat to get in the bowl. You used to be able to get, I believe, beef and chicken. Now they have shrimp and chicken. So you can just get shrimp on its own in the bowl, or you can get just chicken alone, or you can get a mix of both, which is exactly what I did. I decided to go for the rice bowl, but another option for you is kind of getting it over some salad if you want it to go a little bit healthier. But either way, this is a healthy meal and uh, it looks and smells really good. This is the chicken and shrimp rice bowl. It's tremula marinated chicken and peri peri marinated shrimp on jollof rice with kachimbari, tomato salad, and tzatziki sauce for $14.99. Let's dig into this bowl here. I kind of want to try one of the shrimp by itself first. This is marinated in peri peri. They have a similar peri peri marinated shrimp over in Epcot at the, I think, the Kenya booth for food and wine. Not bad, really good flavor actually. Um, it also comes with a tzatziki. There are three shrimp here and then tons of chicken. So keep that in mind. If you if you, if you did want more shrimp, you can just get the shrimp bowl. Let's kind of try and get a bite here with all the other stuff. Some chicken, some tzatziki sauce, some rice. Very flavorful. This is like chipotle or kava for African flavored food. You get a nice bowl filled with a ton of healthy ingredients. That's really good. Mm. And that tomato cucumber salad on there, great as well. I already know I'm gonna get comments that are like, Kristen, you don't eat mayo. Why are you eating tzatziki? I know it resembles mayo, but you probably know it is actually Greek yogurt, and I can do Greek yogurt. Same with ranch. If like a ranch is made with Greek yogurt and not mayo, I can eat it. But it's just the mayo issue that I have. But this is really good. I actually love that tzatziki in there too. Get some chicken, some cucumber. It's a great dish. This is also a huge portion. Like there is a lot of meat in here, a lot of rice, a lot of veggies. I picked this thing up and I couldn't believe how much it weighed. This is heavy. Definitely a filling dish. Um, Animal Kingdom, I swear. Every time I get something from Animal Kingdom, it's good. Animal Kingdom never does me wrong. I just want to eat everything here. While this dish is really tasty, it's nothing like revolutionary, so I would still say stick with that stuff from Flame Tree Barbecue. I think that stuff is a little bit more unique, um, but this was still really good if you're looking for like a fresher, again, healthier option. I wish we had some stuff like this in some of the other parks. I feel like Magic Kingdom or Hollywood Studios could really use a dish like any of the ones that I tried today. Animal Kingdom is just where it's at. We made our way just around the corner to try some of the new items at Kusafiri next. While I'm by Kusafiri, I noticed this on the wall and looks kind of familiar. Let me show you. If you didn't make the connection, that poster reminds me of my awesome t-shirt by Shop LBB. This is one of my all-time faves from the shop. I love the design. I lo also love the t-shirt, how it's like green marble kind of. Link in the description if you guys would like to shop for it. But we made our selections over at Kusafiri. Kusafiri has a very underrated menu. They have these chicken and pork flatbreads that are really good there. And they always have a good impossible vegan dish. So I'm very excited to try the stuff that we got. One of the new things that they have on the menu that I really wanted to get but couldn't get it was the harissa chicken wrap. It, it had mayo in it and you couldn't take it out, but it looked really good. So it's another option for you here. But I decided to go with the impossible option as well as a coffee. 
This was a surprise offering. It was not listed on any of the menus online. So when I saw it on the menu over there, I was like, what is going on? But it sounds delicious. It's a coconut flavored iced coffee made with Joffrey's coffee cold brew flavored with coconut milk and a drizzle of sweetened condensed milk for $4.79. They also have an option to add alcohol to this. I got it just plain as it comes and I'm very excited for this. I had no idea that this was gonna be there. Give it a little whirl. Now we'll give it a little sip. That is so good. I just got a ton of the sweet and condensed milk. Wow. This is a delicious coffee. Just a little hint of coconut coming through there. I really get the sweet and condensed milk. I'm shocked. Here at Disney World, we never get these cool flavored cold brews. Usually the only places we could get like iced coffee and fun coffee drinks would be at the Starbucks or the Joffrey's location. Over in Disneyland, like so many, almost every quick service location has their own specialty cold brew. So this, that's, that's why I got it. I was so excited to see it on the menu because Disneyland always has really good cold brews. And uh, I really hope we continue to get some new ones like this. This is such an awesome offering, a great new place to get coffee in the park. I will definitely be back for this. But now onto the food. We are trying the Impossible Gatsby, which is a pita pocket filled with plant-based picadillo, tomato pepper relish, and crispy potato sticks topped with a plant-based aioli. Before we try our pita here, we got these house-made chips. These chips are so good. They serve them with pretty much everything that you get at Kusafiri, and they're dusted with the same seasoning that they put on the amazing African spiced corn that you can get right across the way. So I always love these chips. Mm -hmm. There's just something about that seasoning. All right, let's go for this. This is so flavorful. It's kind of spicy too. I absolutely love the freshness that you get with the cucumber in there and the tomato. The plant-based meat itself is, like I said, so flavorful, very spicy. I'm gonna try it just alone. Get my fork here. Okay. Okay, Gusafiri. Wow, both plant-based items I tried today are just absolutely knocking it out of the park. Amazing. I know everyone loved the impossible empanadas that they had here, but I'm telling you, you will be happy with the, the new menu, the, the new menu change. This is amazing. I love picadillo. One of my roommates in college was Puerto Rican and she used to make it all the time. She taught me how to make it and I loved it. It was like one of my favorite dishes. So having an impossible version is awesome. The flavor is on point. The chips, amazing amazing meal. Before we head out of Africa, I do wanna mention that here at Tamu Tamu Refreshments where they serve the Dole Whip here in Animal Kingdom, they have a couple of new offerings. They have a float uh, with pineapple Dole Whip and then orange soda, and then they also have a new float with pineapple Dole Whip and then a pineapple hard cider. So those are two new options for you. Pineapple Dole Whip isn't my favorite, and it's not really anything super new since it's still just pineapple Dole Whip, just with different drinks in the float. Um, so I'm gonna skip it for today, but we still do have one more thing left to eat, and it's gonna be from over in Pizza Fari. We have made it to our final stop of our little Animal Kingdom new food crawl here at Pizza Fari. They have a new Impossible sausage and pepper sandwich, as well as a new antipast salad. I decided not to get the antipast salad. It had like meats, cheeses, I, it's, it, I've eaten so much, it just didn't sound the best to me to eat right now because I am stuffed. We had so much good food today, but I did want to try the vegan Impossible sausage here. I happen to love Disney's Impossible sausage options that they serve. I really like the Impossible sausage sandwich from Pizza Rizzo over in Hollywood Studios. It's one of my favorite quick service meals in Hollywood Studios. I always get it. But one thing I noticed right off the bat that is different about this one this is served on a sorry looking hot dog bun. 
The one over at Pizza Rizzo is served in a nice crusty French roll, which really makes a huge difference for me. I think that's really gonna be the difference here in this sausage. Uh, the bun, it, it's literally a hot dog bun. That, come on. We'll see how this bun tastes with this little impossible glizzy here. Well, folks, we have our first disappointment of the day. <laughs> it took us this long to have a bad dish, but here at Pizza Fari, we, we're not hitting the mark. It really, the, the bun really makes the biggest difference here. The, uh, the onion and pepper on top is nice. Love the sausage. Can't complain about the sausage. It's really spicy, actually. Just this bun. It's like a stale hot dog bun. It's, it's, it's just not good with this. They do serve a chicken parm sandwich here at Pizza Fari, um, and it has a really nice like little uh, ciabatta roll, which is kind of what I wish they did with this impossible sausage here. It needs like a nice ciabatta roll, a nice little crusty roll, because yeah, the bun's the game changer here, and uh, it's not standing out to me. The side that you get for the sausage is also not the best. It is a salad, so it's lettuce with one single grape tomato cut in half and then 10 little squares of cucumber so i don't know this is this isn't the best dish that i've had today for sure if you were looking for a vegan option in the park i definitely recommend one of the other two vegan dishes that i tried both the impossible burnt ends and the impossible pita from over at kusafiri were way up there way better than this well that is gonna do it for us here today in animal kingdom and wow what a day for food up until the last second i loved everything that i tried from the coffee to the vegan dishes to the fries to the chicken shrimp bowl everything was really good it's except that sausage at the end <laughs> thank you so much to everyone who's joined my patreon emily mulligan lindsay ashley abdullah misty paul lisa barbara cara angela dustin and nancy john paul leah tracy loco armando the latham thomas family adam and jen wayne carol karis marie dante shelby danielle and marcel and erica well all i can say is if you are vegan you need to run to Animal Kingdom. Even if you're not vegan, I'm telling you, you will enjoy these dishes. Everything I tried today, except Pizza Fari, was so, so good. I am thoroughly impressed. And just goes to prove my point even further, that Animal Kingdom has the best food out of the Disney World parks. I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.